Google just did something crazy. They dropped a ton of free AI updates that nobody's talking about. AI agents in your email, game creation on YouTube, 4K image tools. And it's all happening right now while everyone's busy arguing about ChatGPT. Most people completely missed what Google just did. They're not just releasing new features, they're taking over AI. And the insane part, most of it is free, faster models. AI that reads your Gmail before you do, tools to make games without coding and way more. This is Google quietly building the AI layer for the entire internet. And if you're not paying attention, you're already behind. Let me break down exactly what's happening. Google isn't shipping features anymore. They're shipping an entire AI operating system. Gemini is now inside search, Gmail, YouTube, docs, images, agents, research tools, everything. And most of it is free or insanely cheap. While everyone's focused on chatbot wars, Google is playing a completely different game. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. First up, Gemini Flash. This is the speed monster. Google just released a frontier level model. It's designed for mass usage and it's live everywhere. Gemini app, AI mode in Google search, Google AI studio, Vertex AI. This thing is fast, powerful, and basically free. Google is saying advanced AI should be instant and everywhere. This is how they win, not with hype, with distribution. Think about it. ChatGPT makes you go to their website. Claude makes you open their app. Google puts AI inside the tools you already use every single day. That's the difference. And nobody's talking about it. This isn't about having the best model. It's about having AI where people actually are. And Google owns those places. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Gmail just got an AI agent. It's called CC. And this is a sleeper hit that nobody saw coming. CC gives you personalized daily briefings. It can be emailed to you. It responds to custom requests. This isn't a chatbot. This is agent behavior inside the most used email platform on earth. Google didn't build something you have to ask. They built a quiet assistant that works before you even think about it. Imagine waking up and your email already has a summary of what matters, your meetings, your deadlines, your priorities, all organized already, that's CC. And it's live right now. This is the future of productivity and most people have no idea it exists. Your inbox becomes smart, proactive, useful without you doing anything. Next, Opal and Gems. Google just integrated Opal into Gemini. You can now create experimental gems, custom tools, micro agents, Workflow AI. Gemini isn't one AI anymore. It's a platform for building AIs. You can make your own specialized assistance for anything. Marketing, research, writing, data analysis, whatever you need. Google just turned Gemini into a factory for custom AI tools. This is huge because it means you're not stuck with one general AI. You can build specific tools for specific jobs. And they live inside Gemini, ready whenever you need them. This is how AI becomes actually useful instead of just impressive. And if you want to scale your business and save hundreds of hours with AI automation like Google Gemini, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. And it's the best place to learn how to use tools like Gemini to get more customers and automate your workflows. We're showing people exactly how to implement these AI updates into their business right now. We break down every tool, every use case, every automation. So you're not just watching updates, you're actually using them to grow. Link is in the description. Don't sleep on this. Now let's talk about Notebook LM. Google just added data tables to studio output. This is huge for anyone doing research. It automatically organizes information across multiple sources. You throw in messy PDFs, docs, links, and it turns everything into structured data and synthesized insights. Notebook LM just turned research into something visual and actually usable. If you're a student, a founder, or anyone who deals with information, this changes everything. No more jumping between 10 different tabs trying to piece things together. Notebook LM does it for you. Clean tables, clear insights, organized information. This is what AI should have been doing from day one, and Google finally shipped it. Here's another one nobody's talking about. Flow by Google just launched ultra high resolution image upscaling. We're talking 2K and 4K. This is massive for creators, thumbnails, ads, product images, print quality visuals, all from AI. Google is quietly becoming a creative powerhouse. And again, this is either free or super cheap. Google is just giving it away. You can take a low res image and turn it into something you can print on a billboard. That's not a small thing. That's a complete shift in what creators can do without expensive software or subscriptions. But wait, it gets crazier. YouTube just launched 
Playables Builder. This is a prototype web app built with Gemini Pro. You can create playable games using text, video, or images. No game engine, no coding barrier. Just describe what you want and it makes a game. YouTube just became a game platform powered by AI. Think about what this means. Creators can now make interactive content without any technical skills, education, entertainment, marketing, all of it just changed. You could make a quiz game for your audience, a mini adventure, an interactive story, whatever, and it lives on YouTube. The platform people are already watching. This isn't just a tool, it's a new content format that didn't exist before. The Gemini app itself got stacked with upgrades. Deep Research now has visuals. You can use doodles and annotations for image editing. They're calling it Nano Banana. The Gemini agent is expanding to mobile. Gemini is moving from assistant to agent to system layer. It's not just answering questions anymore, it's doing work for you proactively, automatically. This is a shift everyone predicted, but Google is actually shipping it. Your phone becomes smarter, your research becomes visual, your images become editable. With simple drawings, every piece is small, but together they're building something much bigger, an AI that works with you instead of waiting for commands. Now here's something most people will ignore, but it's actually critical. Google launched SynthiD Video Watermarking. You can now verify AI-generated videos, not just images. You can check directly inside Gemini if a video is real or AI-made. Why does this matter? Deepfakes, trust, platform safety. Google isn't just building AI, they're building trust infrastructure. As AI gets more powerful, knowing what's real becomes the most valuable thing. Google is ahead on this. They saw the problem coming and they're solving it before it explodes. Because if you can't trust what you see, AI becomes dangerous. Google is making sure you can verify that's smart, that's responsible, that's leadership. And if you're a developer or researcher, listen up. Google just dropped major updates to Gemma, Function Gemma for specialized function calling, T5 Gemma 2 as a next gen encoder decoder, Gemma Scope 2 for interpretability tools. These are open models, research friendly, transparent. Google is giving builders real power, not just APIs. If you want to understand how AI actually works or build your own tools, this is huge. Most companies lock everything down. Google is opening it up. They're saying, here's the code, here's the models, here's how it works. Build with it, learn from it, make it better. That's how you create an ecosystem. That's how you win long term. So let's zoom out for a second. What's actually happening here? While everyone argues about which chatbot is better, Google is building the AI layer for the internet. They're not trying to win the hype game. They're trying to win distribution and they're doing it by putting AI everywhere you already are. Your email, your search, your documents, your videos, your images, everywhere. This is the play that nobody else can make because Google already owns the internet. They just made it intelligent. This isn't about one feature. It's about an ecosystem and Google just activated it. If you're building anything with AI, you need to pay attention to what Google is doing, not just what they're saying, what they're shipping, because while everyone's focused on the noise, Google is quietly shipping the future. And if you want to scale your business and save hundreds of hours with AI automation like Google Gemini, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to learn how to use tools like Gemini to get more customers and automate your workflows. We're showing people exactly how to implement these AI updates into their business right now. We break down every tool, every use case, every automation. So you're not just watching updates, you're actually using them to grow. Link is in the description. Don't sleep on this. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and over 100 AI use cases like Google Gemini, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. Don't miss out on learning how to use tools like Gemini to save time and automate your business. We break down every major AI update and show you exactly how to use it. That's it for today. Hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.